Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make barbacoa tacos. Right, now we're gonna be using our pellet smoker today. So we'll open the lid to our hopper and fill it up with pellets. Then we'll shut our lid, turn our pellet smoker on. And we're gonna rotate this knob until we get to the temperature we wanna be at, which is 120 Celsius or 250 Fahrenheit. And now this will take around 15 minutes to get up to temperature once it works through its preheating cycle. All right, now while our smoke is coming up to temperature, we're gonna trim and season our beef cheeks. Now, all we really wanna do here is trim any excess fat and silver skin off. These ones actually look like they don't need too much. Some beef cheeks have got fat and silver skin hanging all off of them. I picked these ones up from my butcher at Austral Meat. These are the WX, which are a Wagyu cross by Rangers Valley. But just get the best beef cheeks within your budget because the better product you can start with, the better result you're gonna get. And if you can't get beef cheeks, you can always use something like brisket, beef short rib, even a chuck roast would make great barbacoa tacos as well. But you just also wanna be trimming them in a way that you're just getting rid of any thin edges a little bit of silver skin is going to be all right to stay on there, but you just want to get rid of the bulk of it. And you want to be using a nice sharp knife as well. As you'll see in pretty much all of my videos, I always use Victorinox. Use them throughout my whole career as a butcher. They've never let me down and they're really, really cost effective as well. All right, so this one's pretty much done. Just going to get rid of that dangly bit there. And that is good to go. And now I'll quickly trim this other one. All right, these are all trimmed up. Time to season them. All right, so we're gonna be using a combination of my Steak Shooter Spicy and Beef Bounce. I like a bit of spice in my barbacoa tacos, but if you've got another favorite rub for beef cheeks or tacos, go ahead and use that. We could always use a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic, maybe throw a bit of cayenne pepper in there. But what we're gonna do is just go down with a base coat of my Steak Shooter Spicy and top it off with Beef Bounce. All right, now these are ready to go once our smoke is up to temperature. All right, we are up to temperature, so we'll open our lid. Just gonna get a drip tray underneath as we're gonna put our beef cheeks on this middle shelf. Then we'll get our beautiful beef cheeks in, shut our lid and let these smoke away. All right, so later in the video, we're gonna be making some homemade tortillas and we're gonna also make a nice spicy green sauce to go on the tacos later on. So make sure you stick around for that. But now our beef cheeks are on, we really don't have to worry about too much for the first few hours. All I'm gonna really be looking for is our beef cheeks to develop a nice color and a really nice bark as well. So we'll let our beef cheeks go for a little while and we'll check back in once we're a bit further into this cook. All right, our beef cheeks have been in for almost two hours now. Let's have a closer look. They're starting to get some really nice color. That bark's coming along, just needs to come along a little bit further. As you can see, that rub's coming off on my finger, so I just want that to come along a touch further. I reckon another 45 minutes or so should do the trick. So we'll shut our lid, let them keep going. I reckon we'll get started on this spicy sauce. All right, so for this spicy sauce, I've got four green tomatillos in a bowl, along with six cloves of garlic. And then I've just got two green jalapenos. Just gonna chop the tops off them. I'll slice them in half, and then we're just gonna de-seed them. And they can go into the bowl. And then we're just gonna use half a brown onion. I'm gonna peel that half, chop that a couple of times. That's gonna go into our bowl as well. And then we're just gonna open our smoker, pull this drip tray out, get everything in that bowl into that drip tray, get that back in there. We'll let that go for about half an hour or until it's got some nice color. All right, and to add a bit of an extra kick to our spicy sauce, we're gonna add one guajillo chili. So I'm just gonna snip the end off and de-seed it. And then as this is a dried chili, we just wanna rehydrate it. So I'm just going to get it into a tray with some boiling water. And then I'll just put another tray upside down over the top. And that'll take around 15 to 20 minutes to rehydrate. All right, and after about 20 minutes, uh, jalapenos, tomatillos, garlic and onion. We've got some nice color to them, so we'll get them out. And we'll get that into our blender along with the little bit of rendered beef fat that's in there. Then we can add our rehydrated guajillo chili, good handful of coriander, juice of one lime, and a good pinch of salt. And we'll blend that until it's nice and smooth. Then you can have a taste, adjust it to your liking, and then we'll set it aside to use later on. All right, now our sauce is done, we can wrap these beef cheeks. So I'm just gonna use the other half of that brown onion we didn't use earlier. I'm just gonna slice that. And we're just gonna put that on the base of our foil tray, along with 500 ml of beef stock. And then our beautiful beef cheeks can go into that. As you can see, that bark is looking awesome now. And then on top of each cheek, I'm just gonna put some beef tallow. If you don't have beef tallow, you can just use some butter. Then we just wanna cover the tray in foil. 
and we'll get this back in the smoker. Now these are gonna go back in for I reckon around four to six hours until they are nice and super tender. If you wanted to at this stage, you could finish them off in your oven or slow cooker as well. All right, these beef cheeks have been wrapped up for almost five hours. So I reckon we had two and a half hours unwrapped at the start, five hours wrapped. So we're about seven and a half to eight hours into this cook, I reckon. All right, they are just feeling super soft. You can just see that is wanting to pull apart already. These are going to be unbelievably soft. My finger would just fall straight through them if I was to poke around, so we can get these out. I'm honestly just gonna cover that foil back over the tray while we make some tortillas. But before we do that, we're gonna shut our lid, press shut down so it goes through its shutdown cycle. Gonna hold that button for three seconds and then we've gotta drain the hopper as it's telling us on the screen. So now we've just gotta pull the handle on the side here, which will drain the remaining pellets in our hopper to the bucket underneath. And the few pellets that are left in there will go through that worm and burnt out during the shutdown cycle. So that'll do its thing for the next 26 minutes or so. And then it's going to automatically power down after that. All right, white corn tortillas. We're going to start with one cup of corn masa flour and then a three quarter cup of lukewarm water, less around one tablespoon because I'm going to add a tablespoon of Wagyu beef tallow in there. Now this is the first time using beef tallow in tortillas. I'd normally just add a pinch of salt, but I'm going to leave that out because we are using the tallow. And all we want to do is give that a good mix now. And at the end, we're going to be looking for some Play-Doh like consistency. So if it's too wet at the end, add some more flour. If it's too dry, then add some more water. All right, and after a couple of minutes, we've got a nice smooth ball, which has got that Play-Doh like consistency. So we're going to leave that in the bowl and just cover it with cling wrap. And we'll let that sit for around 30 minutes just so that dough ball can get nice and hydrated. All right, tortilla time. We've got our tortilla press. If you don't have one of them, you can just do it by hand. Our pan is nice and hot. You wanna have that on medium to high heat. Now I'm just gonna weigh these dough balls out. I like to go for around 45 to 50 grams for that nice street taco sized tortilla. So I'm just gonna lay a sheet of baking paper down. Our dough ball, baking paper on top. We'll press that down and there we have a nice beautiful tortilla. So we'll peel the baking paper off straight into the pan. We're going to go around 15 seconds on that first side. So we keep it moving around so it doesn't burn. Then we're going to flip it over and give it about 30 to 45 seconds. And then we're going to flip it back over and give it another 15 seconds. And we should see it puff up. All right, and then once that's done, I'm just gonna sit it off to the side. It's a nice warm day here in Adelaide, so we'll just keep going. All right, now for the beef cheeks. Now for those of you wondering, I wear a cotton inner glove, just a cheapie from Bunnings, and then I put a nitrile glove over the top, and that's how I stop burning my hands. These beef cheeks, let's see how tender they are. That is so unbelievably tender. Like, look at this. I can just gently press my thumb through that. That's exactly what you want. So we're gonna pull that nice and fine and then build some tacos. Look at that. Doesn't get much better. All right, now to build our tacos. I'm gonna go straight down with some of that beautiful beef cheek meat and some finely diced white onion, some crumbled feta cheese. Now, if you can guess the more traditional Mexican style cheese, absolutely go for that. We just don't really have too much of it here in Australia. And we'll go some coriander, some of that beautiful sauce we made earlier, and then a squeeze of lime on top. Now, in my opinion, it doesn't get much better than that. Let's have a taste. Now that is one of my favorite things to eat. That seriously has it all, that beautiful, rich, tender flavors and beef cheek meat, those tortillas, that beautiful sauce we made earlier. All those toppings, that is the ultimate taco. I'll put the recipe and everything you need to know down in the description along with those Mexican specialty ingredients. But for now, if you've got any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, 
But for now, that's the end of the video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.